Hey, it's Rachel here from carpart.com. The Photomate app lets you add parts to your inventory right from your mobile device. This video will show you how to do that. After you've logged into Photomate, start by tapping Inventory Apart. This brings up the Inventory Apart screen. Now, if all you know about the part you're adding is the OEM number, you can hit this button right here to find the part, model, and interchange, but we'll get to that later. For now, we'll start with a stock number. If the stock number you enter matches an existing AUT record, Photomate fills in the year, model, and location from that AUT. If not, then you'll need to fill those fields in manually. So you can see from the stock number I put in, this vehicle is a 2006 Toyota Camry. The part I'm gonna add is a front door, so I'll tap select and choose my part type. Then just tap the part type to select it. Now, since this is a sided part, these options here appear for you to narrow down the interchange choices by side. So I'll hit RH for a right-hand door. And then I'll tap the select button to choose the interchange. Now, if you need more information about any of the options, just tap the no icon, then just tap it again to close. Once you've figured out the correct interchange option, tap on it to select it. Now, if you want to use the interchange description in the description for this particular part, make sure there is a check mark in the Use Interchange Description checkbox. Then just add anything else you want to be in the part description. For this part, I'm going to add the color and a short description of the damage. Now it's time to set the condition of the part. If you're adding a mechanical part, you'll want to enter the mileage in the Miles Condition field. Since I'm adding a body part and it does have some damage, I'm going to leave this field blank for now because when I enter ARA damage in a minute, Photomate will automatically fill this field in for me. I'll show you that in a minute. If my part didn't have any damage, I would just type 0cc in the miles condition field right now. Next, you'll review the kind, category, and location and make changes if you need to. I'm leaving my quantity as 1, but you can change it. The only thing to note is that if your quantity is more than one, like if you're adding multiple wheels, any images that you add as you're inventorying the part will be attached to each one of these parts. You can flag the part you're adding for review. You can also mark the part as private, which means your salespeople will be able to see the part in your inventory, but it won't be listed in any carpart.com marketplaces like Carpart Pro or Trading Partners. Check the tag checkbox if you want to add this part to the Checkmate tag queue. If you want to, you can enter the amount you paid for the part in the cost field. Next, we have our price information. If the list price is available for this part, it will show right here. Then, if you already have a price for this interchange number in your price book, that info is going to display as well. You can tap the View Price Book and Part Eval button to see more details. If you want, you can adjust the price, so I'm going to bring the price down a little bit. Then you can see that since I did that, the price is now bold. This just lets me know that this price is different than what's in my price book. Now we get to the damage fields, which only display when you're adding a body part. If your part does have some damage, just type the ARA damage codes right into the primary and secondary damage fields. If you need help determining the damage code, tap the button that says View ARA Damage Codes. This shows you a diagram of the part and the different damage types. Then you can just enter the damage codes on this screen and then tap Save. Then up in the Condition field, you can see that Photomate filled in the condition for me based on the damage that I entered. You can enter a note for the part by tapping this button here. Just type your note and then tap Save. This will be a private part note, so you'll be able to see this note in Checkmate, but it won't show on the part listing. Then finally, you can add images to your part by tapping the Add Images button. When you're finished putting in the part info, tap the Upload button to send the part to Checkmate. When it's done, you'll get a message letting you know the upload was successful. After you tap OK on that message, you'll be sent back to the Inventory Part screen, and if you look, you can see that the vehicle information from the part we just uploaded is still entered. This just makes it easy if you have other parts from the same vehicle to add to your inventory. If you don't, just tap the Clear button and you're ready to go again.
So what if you have a loose part to add, but all you know about it is the OEM number? In this case, you'll start adding your part by tapping the OEM number search button right at the top of the inventory of parts screen. Then you'll type the OEM number in this field here and tap the magnifying glass button to search. For this OEM number, there's only one result, so the part code and interchange number and description display right below the search field. If there's more than one result for an OEM number, this button here displays. Just tap it to see what the options are. This screen shows each part and interchange option that's available for the OEM number you entered. And again, you have the part code and interchange info for each option. Just tap an option to select it. Next, tap the correct interchange application option in the bottom of the screen, then tap the select button. This brings you back to the main inventory of parts screen. And you can see here that information from your selections on the OEM search screen are already filled in for you. From here, just continue entering the part information to add the part to your inventory. If you have any questions about this process or just want to learn more, don't hesitate to contact your support rep. You can also call our main line at 859-344-1925. For more training on other topics, visit products.carpart.com.